Hi guys! Today we're going to be talking about fine hair, specifically thin fine hair. And the reason I say that is because you can have fine hair that is thicker or high density so you can have a lot of fine hair and the reason I want to talk about it is because I have thin fine hair myself. My hair started thinning around I think when I was 17 I was on Accutane and then I dyed my hair and I left the hair color on for too long and I think we lose our hair sometimes because we're just predisposed to having our hair thin out. A lot of times we think it was that one thing that we did or that thing that we ate or like we did a treatment and our hair started falling out. It's possible but I think the only way way that hair is going to start to really thin out is because you're already predisposed to it, it's hereditary, it's within your family, now you have thin fine hair and you're not sure what to do with it. So I'm not going to talk about hair loss, I do have another video on that, if you guys have questions you can leave them in the comments. So let's start with the haircut. A lot of times I have clients who come in who have thin fine hair and they ask me to give them layers in hopes that it's going to give them volume. That is almost always impossible because you don't have enough density to create the kind of layers that you you see on Selena Gomez or Eva Longoria. They have very bouncy hair, they have a lot of density. We just don't have that and if you want that kind of fullness, you might want to consider getting extensions. So if you want to keep your hair long, what I would suggest is a blunt haircut. When we cut the hair straight across, it actually gives the appearance and the feeling that your hair is thicker and fuller because there's none of that wispiness happening on the ends that can make your hair feel stringy. So always, always ask your hairdresser to give you a blunt haircut. Most hairdressers do do that already. If you have very fine hair, they will give you a blunt haircut. Now as far as layers go, we can give you a movement in the hair so that you can still have a blunt haircut but we'll give you a little bit of movement inside the hair so that when it falls you still have a little bit of fullness but it also blends in with your hair. So we don't want to create any disconnection if you're keeping your hair long and you want to grow it out. We are trying to make your hair look healthy and shiny and full. A lot of times my clients have thicker, fuller hair at the roots but it's fine and broken on the ends and so if you you want to hold on to it again you have the option of extensions otherwise I would always suggest that you go a little bit shorter just so that you have more hair to play with you know sometimes we hold on to the ends even though they're stringy and they're not very attractive you can take your hair shorter it will grow back especially if your roots are thicker and your ends are thinner your hair is probably gonna grow back the reason your ends are thinner are probably because of the way you're styling it maybe you used to use a lot of heat maybe you had a chemical damage happen to your hair maybe you're using an elastic that's breaking your hair off. maybe you're sleeping with your hair wet which is breaking your hair because the hair turns elastic when we sleep and it's like a rubber band it just snaps so there are many reasons why your hair is breaking at the ends I should probably do another video on that moving on to the next point so as far as haircuts go if you do want to go a little bit shorter I love a shag haircut it takes a lot of skill to learn how to do a shag there's different types of shags so there's like a safe shag so it's like just a very heavily layered haircut basically a shag is a disconnected haircut where the top part is fuller than the ends so the ends are meant to be wispy so if you do have fine hair this is the perfect haircut for you you can create a lot of movement and shape at the top well, your hairdresser can don't do it at home and keep the ends nice and wispy and then your stylist can show you ways to style it you can do a curtain bang it's really really pretty or you can do what I did and just go for a pixie you can go longer on one side shorter on the other side it will always make your hair feel a lot fuller there's also a service that you can ask for called dusting which is when we cut off the split ends but we don't cut off any length so if you are growing out your haircut then you can ask your hair stylist only for a dusting. It keeps the integrity of your hair. We don't take any length off, but it keeps your hair looking nice and healthy. And now let's talk about products. This is the most controversial topic when it comes to fine and thin hair. A lot of times I find people will skip their conditioner because they don't want their roots to be weighed down. So this is a huge, huge, huge myth. If your hair is being weighed down, you're using the wrong conditioner. When you use a high quality shampoo and conditioner that is meant for volumizing your hair, it's meant for fine hair, 99% of them are are going to create volume for you right at the scalp so even the conditioner does not weigh the hair down definitely invest in a professional brand the products that I absolutely love are R Co which is what I retail at the salon and with my clients and they absolutely love it and I use it myself it's the Dallas which is thickening and strengthening and it does not weigh your hair down it actually makes the hair sit so 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 nicely and I also love Kevin Murphy this is the shampoo and conditioner that I use for a long time and I'm still using a little bit 
there's a little bit left over. It says the plumping rinse and wash or wash and rinse. And this is meant for anyone who has thinning hair. So it's actually really good for your scalp and it does not weigh your hair down. It makes your hair feel so much fuller. Just incredible. And there's also another line called the Angel from McKevin Murphy that is meant just for volume for fine hair but not for people who have any hair loss issues. This is a mini. This is the Angel Rinse. It just makes my hair so full that I have to add product to take away the frizz because it gets so poofy. This product, Viviscal, you can actually get this at Shoppers Drug Mart if you are in Canada. I had this sent to me by a PR firm and I love it. Now it says that it has biotin, keratin, and zinc to promote healthy looking hair. That literally means nothing. <laughs> it makes my hair so full. My head actually turns into like a big ball because it's so volumizing. I also wanted to talk to you about the styling product from Kevin Murphy. So the body mass is incredible. If you have fine thin hair, it actually brings out the wave. I just put a little bit in my hand. This is a spray bottle and I'll rub it into my scalp and it just creates so much fullness at my roots and it brings out the wave in my hair and it just sits beautifully. Viviscal also has a growth serum. Now this one is kind of like, it's not like a hydrating serum. It's more of like a, feels like a dry serum. I like it. It also is body boosting so it gives volume to the roots and it does not weigh your hair down. So this is a really great product to have. Always look for products that are meant for fine hair, for thinning hair, even if you don't have thinning hair. And when you go to treat your hair, you want to look for something that has the word restore or protein treatment, strengthening treatment. Fine hair is very fragile. It breaks very easy. So you need something that has protein in it that is very strengthening. I recently tried out this treatment from Joico and this one's called SOS Extreme Recovery Treatment. And this is salon only, like salon exclusive. I put it on my hair. It does say that it's a protein treatment and I loved it. And I want to talk about Olaplex. When I had longer hair and I was growing out my fine hair, after about four treatments of Olaplex, my hair felt so strong and so shiny and I could run a flat iron through it three times at 450 degrees and still not one piece of breakage. Having that extra strength at your ends, especially because long hair is old hair, is what's going to save your hair. Okay, a lot of you guys love dry shampoo and I love dry shampoo too. The longer you can go without washing your hair, the better it is for your hair, simply because as soon as you wet your hair, the shaft swells, the cuticle opens up, it just becomes more elastic and more prone to breakage. So trying not to wet it as much as you can is always a good idea. So a good dry shampoo is definitely a must have. I use RN Co. And Kevin Murphy's amazing and also Living Proof, but Living Proof is quite white, but it is one of the best selling dry shampoos out there. If you're blonde, this is the dry shampoo for you. And so I don't make this video too long on you guys. The last bit of advice I want to give you is when you curl your hair, do not use a flat iron. First of all, you're getting heat from both sides, so your hair is going to be very, very damaged. You want to use the curling iron as a wand. Randomly throw in some curls and give your hair a bend that will give you more fullness. So using a curling iron actually gives you more fullness than using a flat iron. These are my tips and tricks for fine thin hair. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lena's Makeup and Hair. And questions, you can DM me. See you later. Bye.